Okay, so let's take a look at this example in your notes about zombies. It says, a zombie has begun biting humans. Every human who is bitten will become a zombie after one day and will then proceed to bite and infect other humans who will bite other humans and so on. A zombie can bite and infect, on average, three humans per day. Okay, what was the initial number of zombies? Well, our initial number of zombies is one. We start out with one zombie. Assuming that no one has yet figured out how to kill a zombie, would you expect the number of zombies to grow or shrink? Well, I'm going to expect that the number of zombies is going to grow since every zombie is biting more zombies, and so we get more and more zombies every day. So we're going to be talking about a growth, an exponential growth situation. All right, next question says, at what rate are the zombies going to grow? In other words, how many new zombies are being created every day? Well, if each zombie is biting three, on average, three uh, humans and turning them into more zombies, then my rate of growth is going to be 300% per day. In other words, however many zombies I have today, the number of new zombies that I get the next day, since every one of my current zombies is going to bite three people, I'm going to end up with 300% more zombies the next day than I had today. All right. Notice, in this one, we're talking about additional zombies. All right. We're not talking about the total number of zombies that we have. We're talking about how many additional ones are we getting each day. All right, and we're getting an additional 300% each day. Well, if we express this rate here, and remember this is a growth rate, if we express this growth rate as a decimal, then if I want to express a percentage as a decimal, I remember I just need to move my decimal place over two places to the left. So I'd move it two places to the left. So if I express 300% as a decimal, I would express it as 3.00, or just 3. All right. Now I would like to calculate my growth factor, and I remember from the box above on your notes, the growth factor is equal to, which I call B, my growth factor is B. B is equal to 1 plus my growth rate. And remember, I have to express my growth rate as a decimal, which is what I've done right here. So if my growth rate is 3, then I can calculate my growth factor as 1 plus 3 is 4. Now I have everything I need in order to write the standard form of an exponential function for my zombie situation. So my standard form is y equals a times b to the power of t. So for this particular situation, I'm going to write y equals a. My value of a is 1. This is my initial value. So y equals 1 times b, my growth factor, well, my growth factor is 4, to the power of t. And there's my standard form of an exponential function for my zombie situation.